This is the burden on society. This is why we stuff ourselves at nine o'clock at night with a bowl of ice cream or Cheetos or whatever it is, or that third glass of wine at dinner when we know we shouldn't have it. That right there. Bringing up the weight issue, Dr. Filetti was doing a groundbreaking study on um, people who would yo-yo. They put them on you know, diets, exercise, all of this. And as John Bradshaw points out in his book about shame, the biggest scam in the world are the um, any, any type of weight loss program. They're all a scam. The bottom line is this. We eat because we're in emotional pain. That's it. You want to lose weight? Diet, exercise, for the most part, waste of time. You're, it's just like taking, you know, medication. You're, you're trying to deal with the symptoms. You're not dealing with the cause. You eat because you're in pain. And Dr. Filetti figured that out. Working with, you know, it was, what was it, 20,000 people on this weight study. And finally, he has this woman in his office who had just come off one of her, you know, binge and purge and lost all the weight, was gaining it all back and asking her questions as to what's going on. And she looks at him and she goes, Doc, don't you realize? We eat because we're in pain. <clears throat> he basically scrapped the study, switched everything. It became what's known as the Adverse Childhood Experience Study. And this study is groundbreaking. It was done over 20 years ago and it's been replicated worldwide with the exact same results. And you know what it shows? 70% of us have been through horrific trauma, 70%. And of that 70%, 88% have been through two or more experiences of horrific trauma. What does that tell you? Our society through childhood has been through horrific trauma. Now the problem is, we don't know what childhood trauma is. People don't even realize this, that you go, mom, let's play. No, not right now. You kids are driving me crazy. That's trauma. That's an abandonment in that moment. That's an assault on us. But it feels like this, put a piece of paper on your hand. Ah, what's the big deal? And I can feel it hit my hand, but if I hold my hand still, all of a sudden I don't feel the piece of paper. And then dad comes home, dad, dad, oh my God, great to see you. Whoa, kids, back off, I'm dirty. Don't touch me right now. Now, dad just doesn't want the kids to get dirty. But what the kids hear is, oh my God, I'm a bad kid for wanting to hug my father. There's another piece of trauma. Dad, can we throw the football? No, 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 not right now. I need a break. I need a beer before we do that. Boom, more rejection. Mom, is dinner ready? Kids, I told you, I'd let you know when dinner, go out and play. You guys are driving me crazy. Quit bugging me. More trauma. Those are traumatic moments, but we minimize them, suppress them. No, that's not trauma, Kenny. Yes, there are times when we're hit or something like that. Yes, we all know those, but all these little moments. Mom was late to the game. Dad didn't show up for the game. All of these little things add these little bit of traumas and then we become an adult. We go through a divorce. Wow, that's a big one. Maybe you do suffer an abuse, another big one. All of these keep piling up and this is the emotional illiteracy. Studies show 70% of adults don't even feel. They don't feel. They're not in touch that they're carrying around all of this childhood trauma, completely oblivious to it, that they've been carrying it their whole life. This is now the new normal. And so they don't recognize the pain that they're in. This is the burden on society. This is why we stuff ourselves at nine o'clock at night with a bowl of ice cream or Cheetos or whatever it is, or that third glass of wine at dinner when we know we shouldn't have it. That right there. Now, what's...